other sides. Thank you for tuning into this live broadcast today. As you're tuned in and watching me right now, I know that God shall bless your family in Jesus' name. God is granting your heart's desires in Jesus' name. God is putting miracles in your heart in the victorious name of Jesus. Amen. I am joined in by my mother, Prophetess Rose Kelvin. Here's my mom. <laughs> Oh, Josh, <laughs> God bless you. It is a good thing to be your mother. <laughs> I am so delighted to have a wonderful son like you. God is faithful. <laughs> One who is a blessing to the whole world, to the world at large. Who is a blessing to me, who is a blessing to uh, my family and the world at large. The world loves you. Thank you. Eh? It's well with you. Hallelujah. God's blessing. Wherever you are hearing me, all over the world, are you watching me from Europe, from America, from the Britain, from the, the Caribbean, from Africa, from Australia, from Middle East? I don't know where you're watching me from. But one thing is sure, because you are connected, your legs shall not sleep. Amen. Your legs shall not sleep. Amen. May the Lord's hand always be there to catch you when you want to fall. Amen. May the Lord's hand always stretch to pull you out where you are helpless. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May Jehovah send you help. Amen. Let Jehovah Zaka send you help. Amen. I don't know where you are stranded in this Eula tide. I don't know where you are disgruntled, where you are dilapidated. I don't know where you are knackered. I don't know where you are frustrated. I don't know where you are crying, weeping and sorrowing. I don't know where you are gnashing your teeth. Are you watching me right now? You don't know what to do. Help is coming your way. Amen. Help is coming your way. Amen. Help is coming your way. Amen. Help is coming your way. Then I will arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time is set time to favor her, the time has come. It is your time. Amen. I like you to type it, it is my time. Then you share. Then you share. Begin to share the broadcast. Begin to share the broadcast. Josh, what is expected of those who would share this broadcast? The people that will share this broadcast 10 times are the people that will receive 10 miracles from the Most High. Mm. Share, brother. Can I both share? Now, Joshua just declared it that if you can share this broadcast 10 and above, that you will receive 10 and above miracles <laughs> from the Most High. The Bible says, as rain and dew fall from heaven and never return, you know, waters the earth, makes the trees to produce fruit, give us seed to the sower and bread to the eaters. So shall my word be and not return unto me void until it accomplishes the purpose it was sent for. Right now, I prophesy, John, in my faith, with God's servant, Josh K. Wherever you are hearing the sound of our voices, let a miracle hit you. Amen. Let healing hit you. Amen. Let divine intervention hit you. Amen. Let an answer hit you. Amen. Let felicitation hit you. Amen. Let result hit you. Amen. Somebody type it and share. It is my season of felicitation. Mm. Then you begin to share the broadcast. Begin to share. Begin to like. I want you to punch the like button. I like you to comment my season of felicitation and then you begin to share, begin to share because something is about to drop in somebody's life. Something is about to drop on your mind. You know, when something drops on your mind, something will enter your hand. An idea that will put something in your hand is coming your way. Amen. The kind of idea that will make you a millionaire. When something enters your mind, something enters your hand. When something enters your mind, something enters your hand. When something enters your mind, solution is inevitable. Amen. Answer is inevitable. Amen. Let the answer you are looking for, let your answer, the answer to your question you have been asking many decades ago let it drop on your mind Amen. let that result drop on your mind Amen. let what to do drop on your mind Amen. let divine direction drop on your mind Amen. many of you are confused you don't know what to do there is confusion on your mind you have been battling with confusion the spirit of confusion you know you have has beclouded you and you don't know what to do you have been looking for answer no answer you know you have been asking series of questions no answer right now there is something that will drop on your mind 
that will settle that protracted slavery. Ayakatosa. Something that will pull you out of financial slavery. Amen. Something that will put, pull you out of spiritual slavery. Amen. Something that will put you out, pull you out of captivity. Amen. It will drop on your mind. Amen. It will drop on your mind. Amen. It will drop on your mind. Amen. This is what money cannot buy. Amen. This is what qualification cannot do. Amen. This is what certificate cannot do. Amen. This is what degree cannot do. Amen. This is what professionalism cannot do. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. This is what your bicep cannot do. Yes, it is Lord. what your game cannot do. Yes, it is what your intellectual prowess cannot do. Mm. An idea, divine idea, mm. that to pull you out of dungeon. Mm. Oh God, shadow God, oh God. shadow God. Oh God. Let the idea yeah, yeah, yeah. that to pull me out of slavery out of into slavery. my mind now. Let answer to that question for direction, yeah. divine direction. What to do, oh God? Let the spirit of what to do envelop me, envelop me. Let idea, an idea that will make me a millionaire, an idea that will bring to an honor and every form of captivity. Let it enter my mind, open your mouth, and begin to drop from heaven, drop from heaven. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, now, don't forget that it was an idea from the servant of Kish in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 9. When Kish's donkey strayed away and the Bible says they began to search for it from pillar to post. For three days in the bush, Saul and his father's has a boy, you know, we are looking for this donkey. And the, to, these donkeys we are nowhere to be found. They transverse from pillar to post, coast to coast. The donkeys we are nowhere to be found. And an idea, divine idea for recovery. Mm. Divine idea to put enemies of progress to shame. Enter mm. the boy's mind. Mm. You know, so an idea money cannot buy. Mm. The idea strength, you know, many of you have put in strength in that business. Mm. You are putting strength in that marriage. Mm. It is not working. Just one idea that will drop on your mind mm. that can settle everything. Mm. It will come your way now. Amen. It is happening for you now. Amen. Shadow God. Oh God. The kind of idea oh that will end my shame, oh end my trouble, oh that will put my enemies of progress oh to shame. Oh Let it enter me now. Enter me now. <laughs> Failed. Now, many of you have tried everything possible within your disposal, yet that particular problem is still persistent and insistent because an idea, divine idea, has not entered you. Just palm, you just enter, pa, you become a billionaire, pa. So, the Bible says, after wallowing in vain in fertility for three days, a divine idea entered Kishi's uh, housemaid. He said, let us go and see a prophet. Mm. He could tell us where the donkeys are. Idea. Just that. Just that particular idea, you know, brought about 
Saul's throne. Saul became a king. He was anointed a king over Israel. Just that idea. Mm. Now, the, the axis that we, are, that we are missing, we are all recovered and restored. Just one idea. Are you listening to me? So, the kind of idea that to make everybody dazzle, how did it happen? It will enter you. Amen. It will enter you. Amen. It will solve that puzzle. Amen. Let that idea become a mystery that will settle your misery. Amen. And settle God. Oh God. An idea. An that, idea. That will become a mystery. That will, become that mystery. will settle my misery. An idea mystery. that will become a mystery. That will settle my misery. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now look at me. Look at me everywhere. Wherever you are watching me from all over the world. I there was somebody who was, you know, just strolling and he didn't know assassin. Assassins had been paid to assassinate him. So he was just going on a straight road. While well, he was going on that straight route, the assassins were coming headlong. And somehow, somehow, something ministered to him. That's an idea, divine idea. Divine idea. Something just struck him. Follow right. He just, you know, an idea entered him. Follow right. These assassins were coming like this. Pam. He said, Follow right. Immediately he followed right. Pa, as he did enter right, the assassins passed and they didn't meet him. They saw somebody move like this, but they didn't know he was the one. So God can use a simple idea. A lot of you, God has saved you so many times with an idea, but you didn't know. Uh, you thought it was because you knew. See, wisdom comes or wisdom comes in into play when you know you know nothing. But when you think you know it all, that divine idea will not be in view. That idea comes when you have you have given up, like God, it's just you alone, you, you, you. It comes when you least expect. It it comes not by your intellectual prowess, not by your mental capability or mental capacity. No, it, it just drops spontaneously for an action that will lead to a reaction to your direction. Mm. Right now, the kind of idea that will save you from untimely death, mm. idea that will save you from sickness, mm. idea that will save you from sorrow, mm. idea that will save you from pain, mm. it will come into your Amen. It will enter your mind. Amen. It will enter your mind. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, I, an idea is given by God. Mm. Idea is not gotten from college of education. Ideas are not gotten from technical know-how. Mm. Ideas are not gotten from well of experience mm. ideas are given by god mm. they come from god mm. they come from god mm. are you listening to me mm. now enemies of progress fight ideas mm. because of your mouth many of you god has dropped ideas that would have made you a billionaire but because you share that idea with an enemy of progress mm. it didn't come to pass mm. it never come to fruition mm. because you shared your idea with an enemy of progress don't forget that one of the hindrances to felicitation is enemy of progress enemies of progress so when you conceive an idea when god gives you an idea never share it with an, an enemy of progress never share it with anybody never share it with anybody just allow it to nurture allow it to grow allow it to have fresh air allow it to manifest as a matter of fact do not divulge too much let your evidence talk the talk let your evidence do the talking not you talking even when the thing has not manifested are you listening to me shadow god, oh god. shadow god. Oh god as you give me an idea today that will idea. change my story change i refuse to divulge it to an enemy of progress i, I will divulge not divulge this Shabbat idea Shabbat to an enemy of progress i refuse to say this idea to an enemy of progress i will not share this idea with an enemy of progress Oh God, help me, oh God, to nurture this idea. As you give me this idea that will change my story, that will change my marriage, that will change my business, that will change my career, that will change my children. I will not share it with an enemy of progress. Oh, put your mouth. Oh, put your mouth. Anytime 
you divulge what God has dropped on your mind that has the capacity to change your story with an enemy of progress, that idea will never see the light of the day. Yeah. That idea can never see the next day. As a matter of fact, as you are telling that enemy of progress, the enemy of progress will go behind you and do that thing to run ahead of you. Now, in the book of First Samuel, chapter 10, verses 14, after Saul and the Sapphire's servant went to Prophet Samuel, and Prophet Samuel anointed Saul in the book of First Samuel, chapter 10, and the Bible says that Samuel carried a vial of oil and poured it on Saul and said, Is it not because the Lord has made the captain over his inheritance? He, he kissed him and blessed him. And, and poured him, made him a king over Israel. Now, in verses 14 of 1 Samuel chapter 10, while Saul was going home, his uncle, enemy of progress, will lead him. Mm. His uncle, who happened to be an enemy of progress, stopped. I want you to read the 1 Samuel chapter 10, verses 14. Now, Saul's uncle asked him and his servants, Where have you been? Enemy of progress. Mm. Why did he come out immediately? Saul was anointed king. Why did he still come start looking for Saul when Saul was suffering in the bush for three days, looking for his father's donkey? Mm. His father's business that the enemy scattered, which the same uncle scattered spiritually. Mm. The same uncle scattered the father's business and the, the donkey strayed away. And then, while he was busy searching for the donkeys, he was already knackered. And the uncle never came. But when he was anointed king, he, stayed, he came out. Uh -huh. what did the, where, where have you been? What did the prophet say to you? Enemy of progress. Never divulge your idea. Thank God Saul was very spiritual. He said, no, 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 no. The prophet didn't say anything. No. He didn't tell the uncle what the prophet did. He didn't tell the uncle that the prophet had anointed him king. If not... His, that his uncle would have sabotaged that process before he ascended the throne. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yes. So, divulging your ideas to your enemies of progress will sabotage the process. It must, is a must. It must sabotage the process. Now, in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 1, verses 20, it says, Tell it not in God. When somebody wants to marry you, your husband come by you this way. This one can't happen for your life. Stop divulging it to people anyhow. Let them see your evidence with their eyes. Maybe they just come see them. No, they too talk. Your husband's mahood is not working. Stop telling your friends. They will mock you. Oh, your wife no get womb. Stop telling your friends so they don't have solution to your problem. Only God does. You just conceived, you they conceive in, in the miscarriage. Suddenly you can't conceive. You want to tell it to everybody in the village. You that mean that you have miscarriage now. Because there are enemies of progress that don't want you to have children. They might be in your household. Let them just see it grow. Let them just see. Wow, you carry, but you don't tell me. Why would I tell you that I'm pregnant? Why, why didn't you tell me? Now wow, and I'll not be your best friend. That person is an enemy of progress. Let the thing just develop. Yes. When somebody gets married, after marriage, can't say you pitch your baby, I don't marry. The person is a wise person. Don't be angry with the person. So be very careful who you divulge. Yes. I have noticed something. Somebody was asking me and I was suspecting him. Why do you not tell me you traveled abroad? I was not suspecting something fishy when he asked me that. But now I am beginning to understand why you are explaining this. You can imagine someone asking you, why, why, why didn't you tell me you are, you are traveling abroad? How can somebody ask you that kind of question? Are you owing the person? Enemies of progress everywhere. So that they will sabotage the process. That is why even if I want to make a journey, I will not divert the time I'm traveling until I get to that place. They will not see me that I'm there. Mm -hmm. You don't divert your movement to people. It's bad. Your movement, I don't know. You can tell them you are coming, you know, but they shouldn't know when and time that you are coming there. Enemies of progress are everywhere. They will sabotage the process. Second Samuel chapter 1 verses 20. Tell it not in God. T G A T H. Tell it not in God. God is a place. It's a, it's, a, it's a location of the Philistines. He said, tell it not in God. Tell it not in the village. Tell it not in your community. Tell it not in your country. Tell it not to your friends that you are pregnant. That, hey, I don't miss my period. Though. Tell it not. Tell it not that somebody when one marry you, they're very rich. Oh, hey. Oh, if you see I'm a day rich. Oh, this one, they happen. No. Tell it not in God. 
Fikon Summer chapter 1 verse 20. Tell it not in God. Publish it not in the street of Askelon. Millions of Nara enter the account and you are, you, are, you are announcing it everywhere. The Bible says you shouldn't do that. Publish it not in the streets of Askelon. A lot of you are not the sound of my voice. Just let to break through. You don't gather all your friends you now they drink beer for beer parlor. Let to small breakthrough where you get. Everybody knows that you want to buy a house. Small breakthrough where you get. The whole world one knows say you want to buy land. is an error. Let your evidence speak. Let them see you live in the house. Sometimes they don't even know whether you are the owner of the house. How can you be building hotel? Everybody knows you are building hotel. Uh -uh. As a matter of fact, you can build and own edifices and nobody will know you have even anything. Tell it not in God. That is wisdom. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Kalo, oh God. Oh God. Give me wisdom give me to wisdom. manage this idea manage that this is idea. about to drop in me now. Oh, your mother, yeah, give me wisdom about to about manage this about idea about that is about to drop on me. An idea that is about to drop on me. Give me wisdom. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody you have been pregnant for more than two years. Yes. You are pregnant for more than two years. Look at you, pregnant, more than two years, but you cannot give birth. You cannot give birth. When you go for scan, they know they see anything. But doctor is confirming that you are pregnant. Pregnant, this test is indicating you are pregnant. Your tummy is pro through death. There is an evidence that you're pregnant physically. People are seeing your stomach pro through death. Doctor has confirmed you are pregnant. Pregnancy test positive. But scan is saying no baby is inside. So for more than two years, you cannot give birth to a child for you're pregnant. I hear the Lord said to me, the angels of Ogola is meeting you right now. Amen. Wherever you are. Amen. The angels of Ogola Amen. will visit you. Amen. Jehovah Zaka Amen. will settle you. Amen. He will establish you. Yes, Lord. First Peter chapter 5 verses 10. Mm. He said, after you have suffered so a little while, mm. he said, I will establish you. Mm. I will settle you. Mm. I will comfort you. Mm. The Lord is about to settle you. Amen. The Lord is about to establish you. Amen. The Lord is about to settle you. Amen. The Lord is about to comfort you. Amen. The finger of God is coming on you. Amen. You will give birth to a male child. Amen. A male child. Amen. A miracle child. Amen. A male child. Amen. A miracle child. Amen. My mother was pregnant of me for more than a year. And somehow, somehow, after the mockery, God answered her. And boom, she gave birth to a, a person like me. A person like me. It is more superior to have one single useful gear than to have 20 useless men. Because my mother was giving birth to, yes, yes. He said, it is more beneficial. To give birth to one girl that is useful than to give birth to 20 useless boys. Mm. I am talking to some of you now that your wife gave birth to only girls and you are angry. That uh, you see every time, girl, 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 girl. If you have somebody like me, have me one. Is it not better than 20 useless men that cannot even produce one naira to support their mama or their papa that are useless? Is it not better to have one gear that is useful? One gear that is useful to, a, to, a, to your society, useful to her generation, making impact in her generation. Are you, if you have somebody like me, you will not be proud of me as your mother, as, as your child. Is it not better to have somebody like, that, like me that is useful to her generation than to have 20 useless men? You that is a man watching me now. Your wife is giving birth to only girls. Yes, yes, yes. And you are angry. You no longer talk to her. You no longer love her. Your love for her has depreciated. And you refuse her food. You don't even give her money. You don't even sometimes you don't even look at the children. You say, oh, you people are only girls, you will marry. When they marry, they will still take care of you. When their names are heard, they are also your children. Are you, are you not the father of so 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 so? Nobody will take your place in their life. But when you deny them when they are young, when they now grow. They will despise you. That is how life is. Because you cannot eat your cake and have it. I pray for every woman that has only girls. May the Lord surprise you. Amen. May the Lord use those girls to wipe your tears. Amen. May the Lord use those girls to do what men cannot do. Amen. What God is using me to do in my generation today is what many men cannot do. 
Many men with chest cannot do. Many tall, educated men cannot do. Even you that is shouting, why they want only girls, only girls. What do God they use me to do today? You, you, know, you, know, you, you, know, you never do that. You never even do small of it. Eh? Girls are useful. Girls are beneficial to our society. The rising of a woman is the rising of a nation. Are you listening to me? May the Lord set every woman under the sign of God. Amen. What he just said now, the Spirit of God is showing me something. He's sh he showing me a woman. She has given birth to only female children. But the husband is not happy about it. So the husband leaves them and went for another woman. But well, you, as you're hearing my voice right now, that husband is coming back to you right Amen. now. You shall gain a male child Amen. in the victorious name of Jesus. Amen. I join my faith with Joshua K to declare upon that woman that God revealed to Joshua that gave birth to only female children that the husband left for another woman. Right now, in the name of Jesus, may your husband come back begging. Amen. And may you conceive of a male child. Amen. Unto us, a child is born. Unto us a son is given. May the Lord give you a male child. Amen. May the Lord give you a son. Amen. Between now and the next one year, you will carry your son. Amen. You will carry your son. Amen. I'd like you to share the broadcast. Begin to share the broadcast. Tell them to share the broadcast, Josh. Begin to share the broadcast. Begin to share the broadcast. As you share this broadcast, the more you share, the more God brings miracles to your life. Yes, Lord. The more your testimony is called. Yes, Lord. In the victorious name of Jesus. Amen. There is somebody your hair they fall. You are having hair loss. You comb your hair like this. You see hair, plenty hair fall. Your hair they fall. Your hair they fall. Your hair they fall. Somebody collected your car. There is one of your black car. Person collects. And the person will collect that car now. Woman. The woman came to your house and visited your house. I stayed in your house for a long time. And the person said you want travel. As you want travel, he carried the car. Go give him mama. The mama carry that cap, do something. Your hair they lost. You they lose. And as that hair they lost, spiritually they carry something like Agoba, scrape your hair. So that is why you're having hair loss. And that means your glory is taken. Glory taken. Glory confiscated. Right now, may the Lord restore your glory. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a man watching me right now. In the middle of your chest, you are experiencing chest pain. And you're having palpitation. Your mind they caught. Power. That's what does your, your heart does. And in the middle of your chest, you are having excruciating pain. I see if they carry knife, chook there. I saw where somebody carry your picture and laid it to a tree inside your heart like this. Pop for three in the shrine. Today, I remove that name. Amen. I remove your picture Amen. from that tree. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus, there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. As you believe it, so shall it be for you. Amen. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. Somebody is owing you. I see person where they owe you. You are also in debt. But I hear the Lord said to me, that person that is owing you that has refused to pay, will pay. Amen. Will pay. Amen. There will be no debt default. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your finances are released. Amen. Are released. Amen. Are released. Amen. And I declare that all your debt shall be paid. Amen. Shall be paid. Amen. Shall be paid. Amen. I declare you debt free. Amen. It, Jesus name. Amen. Somebody, your mother is about to die. Somebody, your mother is sick. Your mother is sick. Your mother is sick. Is it? Is it Calista? Your mother is Calista, and your mother is sick. The Lord said, "I should cancel that debt." Amen. I cancel the debt yes, in that Lord. family. Amen. Calista, you will not die. Amen. And I use this woman as a point of contact to reach everybody's mother. You will not lose your mother this time. Amen. You will not lose your mother this period. Amen. You will not lose your mother in this year time. Amen. We are, while others are celebrating, you will not mourn. Amen. You will not mourn. Shout out God. Oh. While others are celebrating, oh. I shall not mourn. I shall not mourn. Open your mouth and turn into prayer. I shall not mourn. While others are celebrating, in this year time, I refuse to mourn. Pakato
the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You are, you are playing football. Either your son is playing football. But there is an injury on his knee. Every time your son is having injury on his knee, on his leg, on his leg, he they get injury on the leg. Every time. But the boy can play well. But because of that affliction, he's not able to play. I'm talking about somebody abroad. Your son is always having injury. I saw spiritual. You have somebody carry the boot, boot, football boot. That football where they carry, that boot where they carry play, play football. The person carries something like black color feet that has a white something. You know, white um, like like strokes on the on the black person carries one like this. Go bury him for burial ground. Yeah. He mentioned your son's name. He say stop playing. He say this football will announce you. I don't want it to be announced. In the midst of progress, mm. he can't bury that thing for burial ground. Right now, I excavate that boot. Amen. I give you back your leg. Amen. I give you back your leg. Amen. That's your leg. Is tied to your destiny. Without that leg, destiny cannot be actualized. Or you carry your leg. Amen. Carry your leg. Amen. Carry your leg. Amen. Carry your leg. Amen. You will not carry or play with spoiled leg. Mm. May the Lord fix every error. Correct every error Amen. on that leg. Amen. Which doctors are not able to do. Amen. Go and play. Become useful. Become popular. Become famous. Become a superstar that the Lord has created you to be. And make your generation proud. Amen. Jesus name. There's somebody I'm seeing right now. The person has a problem with his stomach. I see him eating food in the dream and it's appearing on him physically. In real life, his stomach is swollen. His stomach is B. But right now, the finger of the Lord is appearing on your hand. Mm -hmm. your, your stomach is lessening in Jesus' okay. name. In the victorious name of Jesus. Amen. Your stomach will become normal and shall be made whole. Mm. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for tuning into this live broadcast today. We would like to see you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. dot as always for another edition. Ogula, goodbye. leave me like this. I am a walk in progress. You got the the heart of kings in your head. You are indescribable. I am in now. Half your magnanimity. Yes, I believe in miracles. Stranded